All right, this is Blood X coming at you for a Father's Day special edition of Blood X's Loot. One wish all the fathers out there, my main Q's got a little boy, but uh, one also wish all the other fathers out there a very, very happy Father's Day. Uh, it's something that uh, my family likes to do for Christmas and special occasions, and called man crates. Free plug for man crates, but thanks for what it is. It's a box that's literally sealed with super strong adhesive and you have to use tools to open up the actual crate. Uh, this can be very loud and time consuming, so for the sake of time, I've gone ahead and cracked the crate open, but you, you have to hammer a crowbar into the crate to pry it apart. So, let's see what we've got. All right, so this is one of the bigger crates I've gotten. Uh, this is, oh cool, it's the zombie resistance crate. Stay vigilant, stay alive. It's funny, we've actually had zombie survival uh, on the show before as far as which weapon or vehicle would be best in a zombie apocalypse to use. So this kind of will go with some of the things we've done in the past. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, all right. First aid kit, just like with any, th any time in a survival situation, first aid is ideal. You get an infection, you're probably going to die before the zombies can get you anyway. Uh, soap, uh, gauze, tape, sugar, and what would you need sugar for in this first aid kit? Hypoglycemia. Diabetes. Perfect. Take it to Mrs. Bloodaxe. The nurse would actually know what the first aid kit is for. All right. Uh, we have... It's not duct tape. It's gorilla tape. So... Definitely, you can always, always use duct tape, especially in post-zombie apocalypse time. Uh, staple of survival, Spam. You can use it for anything. It's a meat substitute, even though it says it has meat. I don't believe it. Spam. <coughs> uh, looks like a uh, flashlight. Gotta have flashlight. But you also need batteries. So make sure you stock up with batteries before the zombies attack. Cool. Alright, what else is this? The Zombie Survival Guide. Complete protection from the living dead. I want to have zombie recipes. How you get to cook them to where you can actually enjoy the, 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 the flesh afterwards. Let's see what we have in here. Contents. Ah, undead myths and realities. The voodoo zombie, Hollywood zombie, zombie attributes. Weapons and combat techniques. Again, very important for survival in post-zombie apocalypse time. Close combat, slings and arrows, general rules, firearms, explosives, armor. Excellent. On the defense, private residence versus public spaces. Uh, on the run, different vehicles. Uh, on the attack, transportation, terrain type weapons here. Wow, this is actually very detailed. And it's over 200 pages of zombie survival information. Definitely going to Blood Axe Library. Very cool. And this is probably the staple for any post zombie survival kit. Yep. Machete. Without a machete, you're hosed. There you go. Not too heavy, not too long, curved blade, great for slicing. Excellent. Thank you, Mrs. Blood X. Thank you, Blood X's mini me's. Again, thank you very much for watching the Dice Junkie Show. Again, all the fathers out there have a very, very great and happy Father's Day. And Blood X's uh, tip to being a great father is treat your kids better than your dad treated you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy.